Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of R2 Heart. And today is R2 Hat. I'm so excited because today I'm showcasing an incredible, incredible designer that we discover. And well, she's going to tell you more, more about herself, but I promise you, you're going to be inspired with her story. Um, Desiree. How are you doing? And welcome to Art to Heart. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, bonjour, everybody. <laughs> In my French accent. How's everyone doing? <laughs> I know you're yeah. passionate about Paris because that you get a lot yes. of inspiration from there, right? See my Parisian theme today, my London theme going on as well. Yes, I'm very uh, passionate about that country. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, before we get into your creations, can you tell us your story? So how did you get to here? How did you discover this is what I want to do? Wow. Um, I didn't know right away, but I've always known that there was something creative in me that was attracted to fashion and just like antique and vintage jewelry and findings. And when I became, you know, more curious to be an entrepreneur, um, the, the God had me led that way to start making hats and not even hats, headbands at first. And then I saw the reaction when people really liked them. And so I thought this was something that I can offer that's different, that's unique. And I began to just keep creating. I went to the Fashion Institute of Technology to help hone my crafts and even received the mentorship underneath Harriet Rosebud, who's a top, top milliner in the world. So it just kept going from there. And um, now I'm here today, nine years later, Desiree by Design. Wow, that's so amazing and so inspiring because... It let us know that everything can happen if we put our mind and our work into it, right? That's right. That's right. And it's not easy. As, you know, this sometimes when we think we're an entrepreneur, things are supposed to happen first the next day. So this was 2011 since I started Desiree's Fashion Accessories, which was more dealing with costume jewelry before I began to make my own pieces. So it evolved. And even more so than just the hat, I also have the image consulting services as well. Wow, that sounds exciting to have. So what is the image consulting service? What does it entail? Right, right. I know most people don't understand what is the image consultant? Well, the definition of an image consultant is someone who helps minimize a person's physical weakness, but build their positive attributes. So it's more one-on-one -on -one to bring out the best in each person. And I love working with people, seeing people feel good, look good. And um, I always say we guarantee you compliments and a smile. <laughs> so that's one of the things I love to do. Wonderful. And I know that you have a whole series of uh, designs that you're creating for the Derby. Tell us more. Oh, yes. Well, we are no pandemic came, Corona. Um, no, but they actually postponed the Derby to September 4th and the 5th. And so with that in mind, and also we have to keep within our restrictions, I was able to create a beautiful mask, which will I reveal to you first. No one else has seen it first. Are you ready? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. okay. Here it is. Ta-da! Wow. I don't know if you can see it, but if you just want to be royal in style, um, I'm going to just go ahead and mask up for you. You know, it's something that you want to just shine and just be elegant and also just fantastic. But wait, if you go to the Derby, or if you don't go to the Derby, you got to have a matching hat, right? Can I show you the inspiration behind this? Okay. All right. You're ready? Okay. Yep. I hope you're ready. I hope. Hold on to your horses, ladies. Hold on to your hats. <laughs> All right. Da -da. Do I look derby ready? Oh, my goodness. I'm speechless. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> this is for the queen and you. So the Queen of England, the Duchess, 
you know, whoever wants to call me one of a kind designs. Um, I actually just finished it this morning. Um, and I was up all night with this mask as well. So, um, the work never sleeps for excellence, but I hope you like, do you like it? <laughs> I love it. I'm already reconsidering because I'm already, I was already planning on ordering from you. <laughs> now I want a hat. <laughs> yeah, this is a fascinator. And um, let me just give you some more info on a fa what a fascinator is. Mm -hmm. It's really a half size of a hat. So this one, you have a little bit of a larger fascinator um, where you can actually put more embellishments, more designs on top of it. And this was more like towards the, the 60s, the 70s, they started wearing more mod styles and things that wouldn't really just mess up their buns and their high hairstyles. So fascinators have become really popular, especially in England, um, you know, the Duchess Kate, the Queen, you know, so these are things that I love to design with that vintage style, but also like a 60s and a regal, a regalness behind it as well. And I know there's different type of hats, right? Can you yes. share a little bit about that? Because, like, I had no idea. Oh, yeah. Um, well, let me see. This one behind me, actually, this is a cloach that I um, redesign. I also do a lot of redesigning as well. So I may take some a base and actually add different elements. So these are wonderful. Um, and I love to use different type of flower petals. And colors, like color combination is one of my strong um, strengths. So you have a little bit of the satin ribbon here. Um, but yeah, so you can just kind of put it on and, you know, Beautiful. be cool. So this one is more fitting towards your head. This is called a cloach. And another type of fascinator or another type of hat. Um, here's another fascinator. You probably wouldn't think of it as one but it's on a string. So I can design it with on a headband or you can have it on a string and you can kind of just, you know, adjust it any way you want. Um, something really cool. But if you do want something more elaborate and fascinating, let, let me get you a hat. Let me find you a... Um, awesome. Yes. So here's some more examples of, of work. This is more of a pillbox hat. And this one I was inspired by uh, Tiffany's. They did a, a theme event about Tiffany's. And this one might remind you of the Tia Tiffany's. <laughs> but it's a classic pillbox. And it has some vintage feathers and different findings as well. So these are some things. And one more. One more. Okay. But yeah. So I do like to actually add different pieces as well. So here's a little bit more of a fun flair as, you know, the summertime is still here or you want to go on vacation to your resorts, to the beaches. This could actually be a derby piece too. So, but wow. yes. They're beautiful this year. I love your design. I really do. Thank you. And they love you too. <laughs> <laughs> So tell us what are your plans for this year? You're doing so much. Share yes. with us. Well, definitely um, recreating my brand. And I'm working with Art Tour International, who is helping me um, launch. Um, so get ready. Media Kit is coming out. But also just reaching out to more people for image consulting. Um, they might need help for the holidays or getting back to work as some places start to reopen, um, what to wear, or even just reorganizing your closet. If you don't have a, a clue what you want to keep in your closet, when you want to get out. So try to get in touch with clients who need closet analysis. But as the holidays come, um, it's also, also busy. And then fashion week, you know, so I just try to keep up with the themes that's happening around different um, calendars. So yes. What do you love more about what you do? I love putting smiles on people's faces. I love when they light up, when they say, oh, like, I didn't know that, or I could wear this with that. And when they tell me so many people gave them compliments, um, it really helps me because every time I create, I create with the individual in mind. 
and I never make duplicates of my things. So I want everybody to feel, you know, empowered to feel their best. And I love it when a person tells me, like, you know, you did it right. <laughs> so that's the biggest reward for me. And I think it's wonderful because actually um, it's, how do I say, in this, in this moment of uh, mass production and, you know, mm -hmm. industry mm -hmm. and creating thousands of the same, it's so special to be able to find someone who's creating and actually purchase from them directly. Like, like I mentioned to you, I love doing that because it's the feeling of the energy of that designer, of that person who was crafting this incredible piece. And it's, it's energy to energy, right? It's not, right. you don't know, like when you go to buy these things that are made in, I don't know where, um, you don't know who made it. And they make thousands right. of the same. And it, there's not that special feeling that mm -hmm. we get as as when you you know go to a designer that's emerging blooming and and being able to support that and then you look incredible <laughs> and another thing i also do custom designs so if someone wanted to have something done for a wedding a, a birthday party a, a themed event like a 1940, a roaring 20s, you know. So if someone comes to me and say, hey, Desiree, can you do this? So I'm thinking about that. I take on those challenges as well. So custom designs as well. <laughs> well, that sounds exciting. We can't wait to see more of your incredible creations. So you, what message you. would you have before I let you go? What message would you have for that public out there? There's other... Uh, young girls, young boys, um, dreaming of becoming a designer, what would you mm -hmm. tell them? Don't give up. Um, the road might be long, but keep working towards your purpose. Keep working towards your passion. And um, don't worry about how long it takes if you really believe in it. And it is a good business. I would say make sure you do get a business plan or have someone that can help check to make sure it's a business because right. a business means that you can earn income from it um, versus a hobby is something that you do, you're not getting paid. <laughs> so if right. you have a business idea, make sure something um, that works. Find out who your target audience is, do your research and connect with people who are doing what you're doing or who have that same kind of influence to go where you wanna go. Be mentored and don't be afraid to go out there on your own and just do it. So that's my thing is stick to, stay true to who you are and don't give up. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Cesarea, for your time. Super You're inspired. welcome. <laughs> and don't forget to find me online. You can find me at DesireeByDesign.com or Facebook or Instagram, Desiree by Design. Wonderful. We're going to be checking you out then. <laughs> Thank you. I put my hat on. Hats off yeah. to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> off to the races. <laughs> All righty. Off to the races and stay inspired. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. Okay. That was